Okay. Yeah, run, M, run. As fast as you can. Why, what, why does this thing have predator vision? Oh, crap. What now? Let me in! Let me in! Let her in quick! Shut the door! Oh my god, shut the door! Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming I, bloody I, murder. You look totally lying. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out Did you there. Guys split up? A monster is involved. Wait. Wait, a monster? Yeah. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Ash, relax. It was Josh. It was all no, Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. What happened? Yeah, what, what happened? Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, yeah. I'm serious. Holy I think he fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Yeah. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. my... So, well, basically, everyone's still alive what apart about from we're Jessica. We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry. Oh, poor Mike. Who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. <laughs> what the shit? Is it gonna be that whatever that thing is? Oh, it's the flamethrower, dude! Defend, give me the pistol. Uh, suggest I'll cover the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? It's the flamethrower guy. Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, <laughs> no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. I trust Mike with the gun more than Chris. Don't shoot him. This guy's here to help. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. This is the I'm dude at the beginning of the thing. What you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Wendigo? <laughs> Who? What is he really? About? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. All right, this is getting now, interesting. I'm tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. This is probably due to as all the there wolves that lives up at the Santorium. Curse that dwells in these mountains. All right. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, no. That must have been what that was. 
Okay. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. So I didn't shoot it. Could have and okay. possibly could have saved a lot of people. Now, all of you, and wait. Or at least Mike. Why? For how long? Until dawn. They said Guys, it. They said the name of the game. Oh my god. I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. But yeah, we no, should. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. We should all, all of no. us. I'm As a group, him. you can go out go there, get him. Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. I kind of Man, agree with Chris I'll on this. With you. Yes, I, I thank you, stranger. You know. No, don't oh, be like that, Chris. Take his goddamn help. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. I mean, none of us do, to be fair. Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Yes, mister. Uh, yeah, I... Billy Bates, you need I think, to follow me. is the name. And do everything I tell you. Okay. I got it. I trust this guy completely, oddly enough. Ooh. This is the angry point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. <laughs> hey, come back safe. Yay! Uh, we need to hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. No, actually. Yay, they kissed and, so, like, so they're the gonna be together. That's scene. awesome, and I like it, and I approve. Uh, what's, uh, but what, what's he's totally gonna, gonna Chris is totally gonna die now. Be careful. That's Follow the rules of horror. Lead. Follow his lead. I'm gonna do the status. Ashley is at max. Bravery just went up, I think? Alright, let's check out point blank. Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. Aw. And once bitten, Emily escaped unscathed. That's good. Who gets the gun? Emily kept the flare gun. Matt had no defense against the attack. Matt had no defense against the attack. Emily used the flare gun as defense. All right. So basically traded one life for another. Essentially. Uh, there's nothing else. I thought one would pop up about me not shooting the thing that turned out to be a wet dingo. I'd assume. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, huh. it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? You can't. I don't like fire. I don't okay, like fire. No. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. Their skin is like so that's why the flare like gun works. Tough armor. Unless you so are we legitimately getting supernatural with this? Or is he just a crazy man and by wet dingo he just means another miner who what, what are these things resorted like? to cannibalism? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable or... I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Interesting. Like any animal or human. I am completely entranced right now, guys. They've got schedules. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Good. Why? I didn't ask. We should do that next time. It obviously speaks English. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're... Standing still. Really? Like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of movement in their field of vision. Oh. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I would like to explore a little, but I do not want to not follow this guy at all. Oh, Josh is totally dead. Oh, no. Damn it, what happened? No, 
on. We're too late. Shh, quiet. That he looks a tiny bit like Nixon. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin what? off of your entire body. you alive and aware and feast on your organs one piece at a time so I don't watch that yeah. let's go now I don't particularly believe be that considering it like threw Jess off a cliff I can't I'm holding a direction with Chris go why are you oh. no no I'm not gonna check whatever that glowy thing was I'm not gonna do it I want Chris to live. Run! Okay. Go! I didn't move, but you know, hands are shaky. Back! God damn! We're right out in the open. Gotta get out of here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Great. Our only, because my shaky hands are. Basically, oh, only source of protection is now dead. That was a poor choice. I should have shot the tank. Oh, well. Uh, I reacted as quick as I could. Fuck. Nope. I gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Don't want to fuck up like with Emily again. Ah! Oh, good. Good job. You really yeah. did good with that. Oh, fantastic. Come on. Get fucking down. Uh. The fuck is this thing? I'm gonna shoot that instead. Oh no, I fucked up Chris is dead! Chris is totally dead! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, Chris! Oh, No, 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 Ass motherfucker. What the fuck, man? Mike, Ash, oh thank God. Ash, what's wrong? It's it's not good up there. What 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 do you mean? God Mike, damn it. Chris. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, Ash. He didn't. He was out there. I'm I'm so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think he's got to be dead too. Oh Christ! All right, these are all the doors. Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here. Yeah, until I'm dawn. with Sam. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah. All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top. For that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? Josh is gone. His dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Yeah. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. You're... You shouldn't be brave, Mike. 
What's uh, that old guy's bag? Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Yep. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying. Em, it's shut weird the fuck up. How much crazy shit's gone on up here? What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium. See? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. Why I'll the fuck soon. are you... Oh, my God. You're an idiot, Mike. God. Damn it, Chris. I thought that that he was going to help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Hmm. Who found journal cannibalism? Who found journal history? Who found journal combat? Alright, those are... Uh. Those were the pictures. Oh, let's read it all, alright. Jesus fucking Christ on a cracker. Also, that picture in the book, I just saw that picture today on Google Images. Uh, looking up like random shit um about like horror and stuff and i saw that on there just throwing that out there um a section of the journal about how cannibalism causes the wendigo curse wendigo curse only a few men have dared to hunt the wendigo i am the only man who has ever kept them under control heed these words or else she'll be your death and your death will not be the last the wendigo must be contained the wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craves food trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms when he has eaten nothing for many days the wendigo spirit will begin to possess him even the strongest man is weak to it he will kill without remorse Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated, and then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milk milky and white, then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. So it is one, it, so the Wendigo is one of the, um, miners then. A section of the journal detailing the history of the mountain. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of tall creatures born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the, to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. I have a feeling this is like the video thing. A section of about fighting uh, and trap Wendigos. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement in... It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. 
Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs for those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. A section of the journal about the Wendigo's title. There may be defenses. Shaman, shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountains and and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs, and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them out on the mountain. They work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Are you sure this, this is not a good idea? <sighs> Mike's dead. I hate to say it. But Mike's dead. Oh, Joshua. Hey. Stop listening to me. Sorry. Because of your choices, people have died. Yep. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Huh? Yeah, I do. How you left your poor sisters to die? That wasn't my fault. Don't blame that on us. Your own self-centered fear. While a reef threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. You Why are you so aggressive for a fucking therapist? What the fuck? Game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends like your sisters have deserted you. Yep. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Well, yeah, actually, I can. Why? I know that feeling very well at this point, considering Josh, how much of this game I've why played. Did you hurt them? I... Uh, I didn't hurt anyone. Oh, but of course you did. They no. were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them. You put them through a night of genuine horror. It was just for fun. I didn't actually hurt them. Oh, God. Fuck. I... Oh, God. What? I'm so... I'm... Um, fuck. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. It is. And that your friends, if they still are... Everyone who's died is because of my stupidity. It's terrible. And I'm assuming he is talking both to me and Josh. Considering the way this game is laid out. Oh, fuck. Well. Alright, guys. Um. With that, I, I, I really don't want to, but I have to, sadly. Um. I'm gonna have to call it for the night. Uh, holy... Fucking shit this game, man. I was literally close to tears when Chris died. Like, I feel terrible. That was all my fault. I fucked up. And I was so happy, too, when I saw, like, even though, like, like e when Josh pulled off the mask, I was like, oh, fuck, it's totally him. Awesome. This is going to go great. And then when Josh was like, oh, it was just a prank, I was like, oh, God, yes, it wasn't real. Everyone except for, like, Jessica and Matt are still alive. And now Chris is dead in this Wendigo shit. What the fuck is going on? I cannot wait to play more. I cannot. Guys, if you haven't played this game and you have a PlayStation 4 or have someone who has a PlayStation 4, if there's any way you can get a hold, play this game. It is absolutely amazing. I cannot stress that enough. Holy shit. I fucking love it to death. Um, 
like I said during the recording, if you guys want me to play more after I beat it, let me know and I will gladly play more because I'm probably going to do it anyway. <sighs> All right. That being said, despite how much I want to hit resume and keep playing right now, I can't. Uh, so, I've been fantastic. No, I haven't. That's not normally my outro. God, I'm really out of it right now. In all honesty, as is what happened with this uh, playthrough with Chris, I've been terrible. But you guys, you've been fantastic. I have been Tragic Comedian. That's what I meant to say the first time. And, uh, as always... See you, Space Cowboy.